Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Seventy years ago, as the Second World War convulsed to a close, a group of Allied soldiers passed through the gates of Auschwitz. The troops put down what resistance they encountered from the last of the Nazi guards. They said to the survivors, you're free. Today was a commemoration of the 70th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz. In a time when uh, the Jewish community worldwide is facing its greatest threat since the end of the war, it is important that we mark uh, these important occasions so people remember what happened. A few of us Jews survived, and we shall never forget and let us all say, Am Yisrael Chai. I mean, there were people who denied what happened. These are people who actually lived through it. And it's such a privilege to be able to hear them, to hear their stories. And by hearing their stories, we're not just observers, we become witnesses. We are now witnesses to history. When the Nazis invaded, they beat me up. They locked me up in a basement. And from there I was transferred to Graz, Austria. And one day I looked out of the window into the prison yard and I saw my mother walking around with other prisoners and that's the last time I ever saw her. We had no hair, no clothing. We had tattoos on our arms. Can be seen a little bit here. And the air was constantly filled with the smell of burning hair and burning flesh. They were led to the gas chambers and we heard them screaming and crying and there was nothing we could do because we were surrounded by electrically charged barbed wires. We arrived in Auschwitz and she says, I don't think it's a working camp, I think they want to kill us. I didn't talk about my experience for 30 years because I just wanted to forget and I I got married and I had three wonderful children. I didn't want my kids to know, but then we went to, to uh, Israel in 1981 and we had the seven holy men blow the show for, for us. We were all liberated, like electricity went through our body, and we were liberated. Yes. From that day on, I could talk about it. Material goods are a tremendous part of what defines us as individuals. When this was stripped away in the killing center of Auschwitz, Prisoners sought to re-establish culture and identity with what little goods they had. I might have a photograph of a spoon in my presentation, and it's engraved with a survivor's, um, his number. And to me that shows possession, that shows ownership, identity, things that have been, you know, forced, taken away from people, and yet survivors um, really put it back into their lives and retain, retain their humanity. A great deal I speak in schools, and I don't tell them never again or uh, don't forget. I tell them not to be bystanders. That is my basic message. The Holocaust did not start with concentration camps. The Holocaust started with graffiti, started with name calling, started with bullying. How could somebody not understand what, what hate can lead to? And that's what we're trying to deal with today.